we have traditionally two kinds of settings in head and neck cancer, uh, those with recurrent disease and those that were previously untreated who are treating with curative intent for local regionally advanced disease. And in all of these settings, we have new drugs to consider, we have current treatments to consider. So let's start with recurrent disease. Um, and uh, with that, I mean recurrent where it is no longer treatable with salvage surgery or salvage radiation. So some, take, some cases uh, when the tumor comes back can still be saved uh, for, for cure. Um, but when that is not an option or the disease presents with distant metastases, which is uh, very much the case frequently nowadays, then we look to systemic therapy. And traditionally, that has been a triple drug regimen of uh, the so-called extreme regimen with uh, cetuximab added to a doublet of platinum and 5-FU. Now many people substitute that with uh, a carboplatin regimen or with a taxane um, because the toxicity profiles differ. But with that kind of a three drug regimen, we get median survival ranges of about 10 months. Maybe a little bit longer for those who have HPV uh, driven tumors where a survival may be longer um, and maybe a group in between that is not known to be HPV driven but P16 positive. You get into uh, various biomarker differentials there. So that is pretty much the state of the art, um, a triplet, um, and then we can follow that with a number of single agents, where sometimes cetuximab is given later, uh, or a drug like gemcitabine is tried, methotrexate is a drug that's tried, um, but it's overall very unsatisfying. So like in many other diseases then, um, the checkpoint inhibitors come in, and here we have now two that have been, IR, uh, not IRB, but FDA approved um, after previously having been IRB approved for clinical investigations. And uh, that is pembrolizumab and nivolumab.